She is the director and head chef for Chez Zandi Bistro and Wine Bar. Zandi, thank you so much for coming on to Business First this morning. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. All right. Uh, Zandi, we want to find out from you. Um, mm. uh, you are one of our first guests to uh, talk about um, a business in food service. And okay. um, I'm interested to find out your business journey. How did you get into a food service business and particularly mm. becoming a restauranteur? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a very long answer to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure, as you know, both my parents are into the hospitality industry. Yeah. They've been in the hospitality industry forever. So I started off helping um, at Londoners, you yeah. know, Londoners Kitchen. I'd help mom cook there, do the bar, you know, like all round. Yeah. You know, they made us work for our pocket money and nice. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, I've enjoyed cooking since I was young, went on to Londoners, I did my gap year working at Londoners, mm. Cape to Cairo for Dad and Bulawayo, so mm. it's, I know nothing else but hospitality, wow. like, that's what I enjoy, that's, you know, I can't imagine doing anything else, mm. yeah, and then I went and studied um, hospitality and commercial cookery in Australia, mm. I came back home, I then tried to get the current place that I'm at now, Allianz, the yeah. restaurant there, mm. uh, got rejected after getting down to the first, the top two out of everyone that had, had applied. Really? Yeah. Then they said, no, you're too young. And I was like, okay, oh, wow. it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I started my catering company called Zandi Loves Food. Mm. Started catering for different companies, festivals. And I think I did that for two years. And then Allianz became available again. So I went back again and wow. then I got it. <laughs> so did you literally have to sit and watch somebody else set up and, and, and close down before yeah, they took you yeah. on? To... Before they took me on. Oh, and wow. I had to reapply again. Yeah. But it's fine. I think everything happens for a reason. Yes. And I probably... You know, maybe I wouldn't have succeeded if I had started mm, at that mm. time because I was, I think I was 24 mm. or 25, uh, probably 25 because I started at 27. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, you know, and I, I learned so much in the two years that I did the catering. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 So I think I needed those two years before. So uh, tell me something. I think for a lot of families or, you know, who are in business and um, when they try and raise their children to, you know, take up or take on what the family business is about, it can be very difficult. Like, was it very natural for you to pick up, you know, the interest of what your family was doing? Or did you feel like, you know, you didn't really have an option? Oh, no, no. I full on had an option. Like, my sister's mm. doing agriculture. She studied yeah. agriculture. Um, wow. My brother's doing economic and finance. All right. I, it's just purely what I enjoy. I did... um food and nutrition in high school yeah. and that's when I really decided that this is the path that I want to take like I want to be a chef I want to mm. work in hospitality and I'm telling you it doesn't feel like work when I'm doing it I'm not like watching the time saying what time is it going to be over you know yeah. like the day just flies by all the time yeah you know wow. yeah so okay. it wasn't wasn't at all a pressure thing it's yeah something that you actually wanted to do yeah all right so, and so why business I mean I can imagine having studied in Australia, you would have had a couple of options, you know, yeah. whether to go and work, you know, and become a chef anywhere really in the world. Yeah. Uh, but you decided to come home and, and start your own business. Why that? Why business? Um, I couldn't really picture myself working for someone for the rest of my life. Mm. Um, I probably would have liked to travel a bit more before I came back home. Yeah. Um, and you know just get more experience but there were some complications and then I came back home and I was like I'll sort out you know my visa and everything from mm. home and then I just got comfortable I started the catering company and you know it was doing well um, so I didn't end up going out there I don't know if that really answered the yeah. question but yeah, that's good enough <laughs> all right it almost sounds like fate had it that you you'd be here yeah and yeah. and and, so, and start you know, your business exactly. and then exactly because and then that I had became... wanted to travel some mm. more and mm. work in different restaurants and you know gain more experience but then I messed up on a visa application. Yeah, so. really. oh no. <laughs> and I had to come back home to redo the visa application and then I just never 
went through with it yeah because i was i was happy at home yeah so your story makes it all sound very easy no. um <laughs> It's, it, it sounds like it's been a very flawless, seamless story, but I think we just have to take a break and we're okay. going to have to come back and talk some more and get a better understanding of how you're actually running the business and how you're succeeding. Yeah. Um, we will take a short break and once we come back, we'll continue our interview here with Zandi Mubi. She is the director and head chef for Chez Zandi Bistro and Wine Bar. Just to remind you that this program has been sponsored by CBZ Bank, who are partners for success. And guess what? You can now receive your Western Union from your loved ones in Diaspora at any of the CBZ branches across Zimbabwe. All you have to do is approach our bank, our banking halls, which are open from uh, 8 o'clock until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and you can collect your money. Uh, we'll be back after this break. From days of old, we have been partnering you for success. We've moved mountains with CBZ Touch that has brought convenience to everyday banking. My Life Combo, which has made life assurance more accessible to the average individual. And Smartsurance, an innovation that has made paying insurance so much simpler. Now we bring you the next big thing in retirement planning and life assurance. With innovative plans that include group life assurance, retirement savings, the preservation fund, and smoothed bonus investment, we are on a serious mission to take the tension out of pension. Welcome to the future of retirement planning. Talk to CBZ Life today. CBZ Life, partners for success. Welcome back to Business First. Today is Wednesday and we are doing Women Wednesday Business and our crush this morning is on Zandi Movie. She is the director and a head chef for Shea Zandi Bistro and Wine Bar. Again, to remind you, our show has been sponsored by CBZ Bank, who are our partners for success. So from Monday to Friday, from 8 o'clock until 3 p.m., and for weekends, we're open from 8 o'clock until 11.30 a.m., you can go and pick up your hard currency from your loved ones in diaspora and you can do that if they've sent via western union if they've sent via moneygram if they've sent via mukuru if they've sent via world remit or even express links at any of our 60 branches around the uh, the country all right uh, zandi before we took the break uh, i i was saying that your story so far sounds very fluid and flawless uh, well at least in terms of you getting to starting your business in terms of you knowing what you wanted to do from a very young age. Yeah. Let's talk about the actual getting the business started in yeah. Zimbabwe. I, yeah. You know, the economy has not been friendly. Mm. How have you managed to sustain your business? How long has your business been going? How mm. have, yeah, so have you sustained it? I mean, yeah. you obviously would obviously have to, you know, have a staff. How, yeah, you know, how's that been going? <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're on four years now, exactly yeah. four years this month that we've been open. Wow. Um, yeah, a lot of people thought I was crazy when I first opened, like, I mean, because it was a really hard time. Yeah. Things weren't okay in the country. So people were like, oh, you're, just, you're brave to be opening up an economy like this. But, yeah. you know, um, with the support of my parents, I, I took a loan out, had support from my parents. Yeah. Um, you know, I managed to open the business, which was the first step. Um, the first two years were really hard. Mm. The first two years, yeah, like I relied on like, you know, my friends, like my super regular customers. Yeah. Like getting the name out there was really hard. And um, But I think um, with a good staff compliment, like I learned in the first two years, I get feedback from customers, you know, mm. oh, you need to work on your staff and on this level, you know, um, I think things like that. That's yeah. how we slowly started getting there because people, you know, now appreciate the good service that they mm, get, the mm. friendly staff. And I've managed, like, I've been through a lot. Like, I fired a lot of people. A lot of mm, people have mm, left. Yeah. In the beginning, we had such a high staff turnover. But now we've got, like, the best staff compliments wow. ever. Like, mo it, almost everyone that's been there has been there for two years, three years, some maybe a year, but yeah. you know, it's, it's a big step from before when people would last like two months, three months. That must be hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. then you have to retrain. That, especially yeah. the kitchen. That was the hardest. And to find chefs in this country is quite, 
quite a struggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you a chef and when I first started it was myself in the kitchen and one other person. Wow. There was just two of us. Now I have eight chefs. Wow. <laughs> wow. Plus myself. Wow. And yeah. Four years. Yeah. That's quite remarkable yeah. really. Yeah. 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 Um, and and I mean prices for stuff and you know, on the supply side of your business as mm. have obviously I Over the years, yes, <laughs> every you know, time I go to the supermarket, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think um, now what people have done is the best way to go. So most restaurants are have a US price, yeah. and we're just rating because I found I was spending so much money on printing menus like yes. twice a week or three times a week because you go to the shop and something's gone up and you mm. can't keep looking, phoning all your suppliers. What's yeah. the price today? Like I was Sheesh. literally doing that, phoning people. Has the price gone up today? Like it was, it's a headache. So. Now you just look at the rate. I never yeah. go as high as the rate, but mm. I go a bit below because there's no need to. I, I don't feel the need to. Yeah, to go. go. Yeah, yes. yeah, and it works. I mean, people are still coming, so yeah. we must be doing something right. That's excellent. I was yeah. going to talk about your location. I think um, you did very well to uh, find that that location because I mean there is a bit of activity. Yeah. You've got the old Mutual Theatre. Yes, exactly. Obviously, yeah. Allianz Francais. So yeah. You know, people coming in to do business there. Yeah, exactly. Um, that should help your business with clientele, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really does, especially when they have shows in the theatre. Um, mm. Yeah, when when there's shows in the theatre, most shows we do get an overflow of people coming to the restaurant, which is good. Yeah. 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 Right. So, what is mm. the business mantra? Um, what's driving the business? <laughs> So, our slogan is, our limit is your imagination, mm. which means that we can basically do whatever you want us to do. If you come and ask me to do sushi or something, I will find a sushi chef. I will find someone, you know, yeah. to, to create what you want. So, wow. that is my, my, my slogan. You know, we have people that come in and create meals that are not even on the menu and if mm. we're not too busy i'll gladly do it you know so yeah. we try to give you the best experience you know yeah yeah because customer is king right exactly exactly yes. <laughs> yeah that's incredible yeah what's what's the inspiration for you um i mean being a business owner can can be difficult you're problem it solving is. you're putting mm. out fires kitchen yeah. fires too <laughs> <laughs> You know, so what's yeah. the inspiration? Who's your inspiration? Who do you look up to and, and aspire? Um, I look up to my parents. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've been through this. They've been through the best of Zimbabwe. They've been through the worst of Zim. They've yeah. been broken down. They've gotten back up again. They sent my sister and I to university in the hardest times of this country, yeah. 2008. Sheesh. Like, you know, mm. I don't know how they sent two of us mm. to university in that economy. But they did it. So I'm here and I'm like... I actually have no reason to, you know, say that I cannot do it or say that I'm overwhelmed because I feel like things were worse then. You couldn't get stock. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that prices are expensive, but you can get you can get the stuff, mm, you know. Mm. So you can make it work. Um so yeah, they're my inspiration. I don't have children to look after. I don't yeah, I it's just me myself. So yeah. if they could make it work, I can make it work. Yes, you know? absolutely. Yeah. 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 And where to for the business? Um can we can we in the next couple of years see a share Zandi in Victoria Falls? That what? Yeah, my dad keeps saying go to Victoria Falls. Like so many people have said that. Yeah. There will be another one coming soon. Yeah. Mm, location is well we we're, we're just talking about a few locations. So okay. that is still undecided at the moment. But the plan is to have a lot of little share Zandis yeah. all over. Yeah. Okay. Would you franchise them or would you still run them? I think I would still like to run them, mm. which is almost impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I don't know. I I don't know if a franchise would work. Maybe I would try it with one and see if it works or not. If you know the quality of the food remains, because um, my whole thing is like I really am passionate about my food. Yeah, yeah. Or if I just keep it to myself, train all my chefs, and you know. Just mm. give someone shares in one in Vic Falls and, you know, just right. make sure that they are as passionate about uh, the business as I am. Yes, yeah. okay. So All right. So just replicating the, the passion yeah, and the DNA exactly. of the business. Exactly. So why do you think your customers keep coming back? What's what's your unique selling point? Um, okay. Oh, gosh. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> so I think we have a good menu. Um, yeah. We're one of the few places that does traditional and western i mean do a little yeah. bit of french so you know the guys 
during lunch they can come for their sadza and they want to mm. take their woman out or you know business meeting then you know they can have western so a lot of people come there for that reason yeah um our ambiance is great mm. we managed mm. to create a beautiful ambiance it's not loud it's not you know it's not a hectic place it's very mm. chilled it's mature our yeah. customers like that they're not going to bump into their 18 year olds there you yeah. know like it's very mature and um i i get along with a lot of my customers i mm. make it a point to talk to most of my customers mm. where i can yeah and um i think that helps a lot yeah and um you know we've got good we have an old school on fridays that people love to come for mm. and we've got the jazz on sundays so yeah yeah, there's a few factors that people keep coming yeah, back for. Yeah. So I can't end the show before asking, do you still have your winter mbaura? Of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think customers would come if we didn't have that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it would be so cold. Yeah. I, I actually, I, uh, you were one of the first restaurants a couple of years oh, back yes, that, I, yes. that I went to and I experienced the mbaura. Yes, so that's the traditional actually. drum with, with fire. With fire. And, and it's so oh, no, we can't. now I see a lot of places are doing that. Yeah, but <laughs> you were one of the first, I must yeah, say. Yeah. yeah, no, we still, I've even got new ones with new designs now, you yes. know. Upping it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. Well, we are running out of time, um, Zandi. Where can people find you? So we're located 328 Herbert to Tepo, which is Herbert and 9th. And we are opposite David Livingstone Primary School. Same yeah. complex as Alliance Francaise. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then obviously on Facebook. Uh, oh, yeah. Handles? Facebook, Shez Zandi Bistro and Wine Bar. Uh, Twitter is Shez underscore Zandi. Instagram. I think it's also Shea underscore Zandi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shea's underscore Zandi. I think so. All right. Ah, I'm yeah. forgetting my name. <laughs> that's fine. We will we'll confirm and we'll put up yeah, the tags thank on, you. on the screen. <laughs> and that's all the time we had this afternoon, this morning rather. And uh, today was Women Wednesday, Women Business Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, so Zandi was our woman crush today. Thank you for coming onto the show, Zandi. Thank you for having me. And thank you for yeah. watching. I'm back again tomorrow for Business First. Uh, so do stay tuned every day at 9.30. Business First comes to you sponsored by cbz bank who are our partners for success until then it's goodbye